hey, if you wanted to know about the nipples on the bat suit, when it comes to Batman Forever and everything, uh, it's explained by the designer right here. That's right. So for, you know, everybody was always talking about that. So uh, this is what he has to say right here. What's his name? Sorry, I forgot his name. Jose Fernandez, who designed the first bat suit that had the nipples on it. It said right here, with Val Kimmer's suit in Batman Forever, the nipples were one of the things, one of those things that I added. It wasn't a fetish to me. <laughs> it was more, inf uh, I was more informed by Roman armor, like uh, Centaurians. And in the comic books, the characters always looked like they were naked with spray paint on them. It was all about the autonomy, and I like to push autonomy. I don't know exactly where my head was at back in the day, but that's what I remember. And so I added the nipples. I had no idea there were going to end up being all the buzz, all the buzz about it. So there you go. If you wondered why nipples ended up on the bat suit, that is why. But I think Joel Schumacher actually explained that too. He kind of said that in the same sense of like, hey, these are like, I mean, essentially when they first created like the superhero look, the reason why you had the undies was because it's like, yeah, it's like Roman, you know, fighters or, you know, warriors or whatever. Just fight. I mean, look at the three, look at 300. They're wearing essentially diapers and capes. But everything else is exposed. Their legs, muscular, you know, all that shit like that. So that's where the whole sense, like, you know, Schumacher even said that too. He approved the nipples because it was very much in that vein. But at the same time, kind of didn't make sense when the undies are the same color as, <laughs> as all the rest of the suit, you know? It's like there was, in the bat suit, there was like presence of an outlining of undies right there. Maybe they should have made that a different kind of darker shade or whatever the hell, but... Whatever, I mean, the Batman Forever costume, I still think it's great. You know, a little too shiny, but hey, what, what can you do? But yeah, there you go, guys. We're talking about nipples. We're talking about nipples. <laughs> Tim Burton, he was just like, you know what? You know what? He talks about, he reflects on the criticism of his Batman movies being too dark. Because remember, you know, all of this that was happening with Zack Snyder and all the stuff being too dark and whatever the fuck... I mean, Tim Burton was dealing with this in the 90s, okay? I mean, obviously, Batman 89 was iconic. It was something different, new, and we all just ate it up. And But if you watched that movie, you could tell that he was kind of being like, all right, I'm going to have some Tim Burton-isms in that movie, um, but we're going to try to make it as authentic to a Batman comic book as we can. And then, you know, the 80s was like, we were seeing that kind of shift, more of a shift to a darker Batman. So they went that route, which was great. <laughs> but then, after that movie was a huge success back in 89, they said, all right, you're doing the sequel. Have at it, Tim Burton. We trust you. And guess what Tim Burton did? He made a Tim Burton movie. This is why I'm not saying Batman Returns is terrible. No, I enjoy Batman Returns. It is in my... Uh, in my rotation when it comes to Christmas movies, because, yes, it is, in fact, a Christmas movie. Yes. Um, but it's very Tim Burton. Extremely Tim Burton. I mean, it takes place in a big fucking snow globe, and it just has all the Burtonisms that you'd want. And, yes, it got even darker, especially with the penguin and everything like that. So, But I love what he had to say right here. He said, you complain about me. I'm too weird. I'm too dark. And then you put nipples on the costume? Go fuck yourself. Seriously. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's right. He commented on nipples on the bat suit. We actually talked about that yesterday, too. And I think I'll uh, probably do a film junkie shot about the, the costume designer who designed Val Kilmer's costume and put the nipples on the bat suit. And he gave his expl uh, explanation of, of why there's nipples on the bat suit. But, uh, yeah, there's Tim Burton right there just straight up saying, like, oh, my God. You're like, really? You're going to talk about that and then put nipples on the bat suit? It's like, well, I mean... Okay, Tim, it, it, understandable. It's funny, and I love the fact that he said, go fuck yourself, seriously, which good, you know, because of the struggles that he had to go through because he was supposed to do Batman 3 with Michael Keaton, but they were like, nope, you're too dark. We can't sell fucking Happy Meals. So, But I just, I just love the fact that he went after the nipples. He went after the nipples on the bat suit. Of all things to go after when it, came, when it comes to the Schumacher Batman movies, you went after the nipples? Yeah. Interesting.